Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you on a little closet tour. I had mentioned that recently I did a bit of a clean out and got rid of a lot of things. So I just want to take you guys in and show you how I organized all the stuff that I have in there now and some systems that I've put into use. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is what you see as you first walk in. This is one of the changes I made. I put a little bench in here and this used to be at my desk downstairs but I just thought it was so cute here. That's one I picked up at the Goodwill outlet for a few bucks and then I just stripped the legs and recovered the top. I set some slippers underneath and then some books and a fake flower on top. Now we're just going to start off to the left over here. And you can see I've got everything on a hanging bar. I have an angled ceiling so I picked up these brackets online. Um, they're specially made to go on an angled ceiling to hold a closet rod. But one of the things that I was so excited about was that I got rid of so much stuff that I can actually have space between the hangers because I know all the experts say you're supposed to let your clothing breathe, but I always had things like jammed in before and now I was able to make enough space. So down here in the very corner I have jeans and pants because I hardly ever wear those. I prefer to wear dresses and skirts. Next to it I've got some jackets and cardigans. Those are my maxi skirts and dresses. And you can see I keep everything separated with these little plastic rings that I found on eBay. And I mean, you could even print out labels for them. I left them blank because I like to move them around to different sections as I change things up. Then down here we've got button-down shirts or button-up shirts. Long sleeves. My two lone short sleeve shirts. And then down here is all sleeveless tops for summer or for layering in the winter. Now underneath of all that stuff is like my pride and joy. These are some shoe shelves that I built. I just picked up some MDF at Home Depot and I picked up the bullnose kind. When you get close you can see it's got like the rounded edge. But I just used that to organize all my shoes. And so the system I have going on these lower ones, they're all slingback versions. And then a few flat sandals down there. I hardly ever wear flats. I prefer to have like a lowish heel. So that's all of those, and then I did them in like color order. Then over here we have all the higher heels and the strappy sandals, and I tried to keep those in a color order too. And I take these out about twice a year, and I polish them all, and if they're leather, I put like the leather lotion on and buff them up, um, just to keep them in good shape. Right next to that, I have all my pocketbooks, and this is just a bookcase from Walmart. And I try to keep those in color order too. And then up on top, I use some bookends to hold some clutches. Now I attached another rod to that and another shoe shelf. So on this rod, this section here is just like robes and sleep shirts. This section right here, which I'm not going to really show, is all like fancier nighties. And it's kind of like a divider wall there. So here I also put some nails for now. I'm going to get fancy hooks when I find ones I like. Probably Hobby Lobby. And I just keep some shirt hangers and pant hangers on hand. Now over here is where that bar continues. So here I have all my pencil skirts and just like knee length skirts. Followed up by tank tops. And this is one of the changes I made. I had these in the closet. Um, like my closet here is actually like a room so it has like a closet within it and I use that for like off-season storage I'll show you that too um, but these were in there being stored because it was not summer so I brought them out recently and I've been actually having a lot of fun styling them for the winter with like hoodies or sweatshirts or like other things over the top so that was a big plus of bringing those back out and rediscovering them and then down here I have like my puffer vests so that shelf above, I have my boots, and these are the ones I like with my maxi skirts. And then I have some Target versions of J. Crew shoes there, and then all of my summer wedges down to that bookcase that I mentioned. And then on that window, because you can't really see it from where we are when you're in the room, I just put a cheap paper shade up. I'll show you guys that. You can buy them at Walmart for like a dollar and it just kind of has sticky stuff on the top and because it's something I don't see I wanted the clothes protected from it but I didn't want to spend a fortune on a shade so then under all the skirts and the tank tops is where I have all my workout and like loungy type tops now that shelf up there that is all like my magnolia 
and Miss Mustard Seed type shirts. These are all ones like for sleeping or working out. Over here I have all the fancier like Victoria's Secret ones. And then up on top here I have a few just sweaters that I didn't want to hang. Now with my regular sweaters that aren't like heavyweight ones, I do hang those and I use these huggable hangers. Um, I originally bought mine on H HSN or QVC, but they sell them at like all the stores now. And these don't leave dents in the shoulders, even on my sweaters. So I use those. Next to that, I have all my girly stuff, which we're just going to flip past really quick to get to my pants. And then I keep my workout pants over here on one of those little bookshelf units. Next to that, I have a full length mirror. And then here, I have a dresser, which I picked up at an auction. And you guys have seen this before. This holds all my undergarments and pajama pants and stuff. Um, I emptied out the top drawer so I can show you what I've been working on for these past few weeks. Um, I have been working on some drawer organizers. Now originally I had the honeycomb plastic ones, which there's nothing wrong with those, but they have kind of like a scattered look. So I wanted things straight lines. I just used some craft wood left over from one of my projects and I created dividers and I painted them the same color as the drawers. Um, these drawers are like a light blue and it goes really nice with the paper I put in. And then I have this little remote control which goes on the side of the dresser normally, but these drawers are all lighted as well. You can see they have an LED light strip and that I just picked up at Walmart, but it's just like an extra touch that I think it's just fancy and it's cute. Um, and I know this is like a little over the top for most people, but for me, it makes me happy. And then in the bottom drawer here, where I keep the pajamas, I have them all folded and stacked. And I think this is what they call the KonMari method. I've never read that book. Um, I just started doing this and then I saw that, so I think that's pretty cool. And then on top of this is where I have all my jewelry which is also another fun section. This is a printing tray I picked up in an auction as well. I think I paid like $7 also. And in it I just keep all kinds of jewelry that I have. And then in the smaller sections down here I've just got a ton of earrings. Um, one of my next projects is going to be to build dividers in these little drawers. I've got an old printer's tray that I took apart and rebuilt and I've got some leftover pieces which I think will be perfect to make dividers. I have this little mannequin to hold necklaces and I recently picked up a few chokers because I know they're like back in style now um, so I picked up a few to try them out and I love this one from Forever 21 it's just like a black string with a star charm on it I have a Lily Pulitzer tray which I picked up at TJ Maxx years ago and I just throw all my statement jewelry necklaces in there and it's just really pretty now over here I've got what should be like a lingerie chest. I keep my bracelets on top of that just in random little containers. And then this I use to hold socks and scarves. So because I got rid of the honeycomb ones in my other drawers I managed to use them in here. So I've got them. I prefer to roll my socks because I feel like when you ball them and like twist them in on each other it stretches them out. So I just roll them. And then that one's still empty. This one here, I'm working on the scarves. This is the only scarf drawer I have done yet. So this is the summer scarves and the lightweight ones. And I just put them in a honeycomb thing. And I think it's really cool looking. And then next, I'm going to be organizing this mess. This is all like the warmish winter ones. And right now, they're just a disaster in there. So before I mentioned that I had a closet within the closet, and that's this right here. That's a little laundry bin I set up. So I'm just going to open this and show you guys. This is one of those things where it's better behind closed doors because it's not pretty. Um, but here I have, you can see little bins. And when I write like work shirts on it, I mean like for like yard work and like painting and building things. So I have a few things in here that when I go through my closet and clean stuff out, I put the things I'm getting rid of, I swap out for ones that are like completely paint stained. So it's kind of like a rotating stock. But I've just got that section there. And then here I keep things that I have to make repairs on. Things that I'm selling on eBay. And then down there I have shorts for summer. I have a couple pairs. You can see I don't like this because of like the duct work and stuff. But usually it's hidden. Down at this end I have coats. 
So let's close that back off. And then here we go. This is the last section to show you guys. And this is actually, it was the top of a hutch that was free and I picked it up. And I use it just to store my sweatshirts. So you can see I've tried and done them in color order here. I've got like black, pink, blues, random colors, grays. Um, so just that. I like the chippy finish. It came as natural wood and I just painted it up. This top section here is empty right now, but I use this to store things um, that are new that I haven't worn. So I keep them like in this, you know, in the front of my mind. So I have this little necklace I picked up at Forever 21 and I got it for Valentine's Day to wear. And I just have it here to kind of remind me that it's new and to use it. Um, I just have some air fresheners and fabric fresheners. And then on this little mannequin, I got this when our limited went out of um, went out of our mall, and I think it was fifteen dollars. I'm not positive. So I've just got a vintage hat on it, and this wool jacket that belonged to like a great great grandmother or something. And then I store my belts just wrapped around the neck of it. So that's my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be making some more of those little craft wood drawer organizers and if you guys would like to see a DIY on that, let me know in the comment section. Um, thank you for watching.